hi back to another video video in this video we are going to talk about the supply and demand curve how does the supply and demand curve work supply and demand in economics relationship between the quantity of a commodity that produced which wish to sell at various prices and quantity that consumer wish to buy it it is the main model of the product distribution used in economic theory the price of the commodity it is defined by the interaction of the supply and demand in the market the resulting price is referred as a equilibrium price and represent the aggregate between the producer and the consumer of the good in equilibrium the quantity of a good supply by the producer equally equal the quantity demanded by the consumer demanded curve the quantity of the commodities demanded depend upon the price of the commodity and the potentially on many other factors such as price of the other commodity the income the preference preferences of consumer the seasonal effect in basic economic analysis all factor expect the prices of the commodity they are often held constant the analysis that involve examining the relationship between the various price level and maximum quantity that would potentially purchased by consumer at each of these forces the price quantity combination may be plotted on a curve known as demand curve the price represented on the virtual axis and quantity represented on horizontal axis the demand curve is almost always downward sloping reflecting the willingness of the consumer to produce more of the commodity at low price level any change in the non non price factor would cause a shift in demand curve whereas a change in price supply curve a quantity of the commodity that is supplied in a market depend not only the price of stable of for a commodity but also potential many other factors such as price of the substitute product the production technology the availability and the cost of labor and the factor of production it in basic economic analysis analyzing supply involve looking at relationship between various prices and the quantity potential offered by producer at each price again holding constant all of the factor that could be influence the price those price quantity combination may be plotted on a curve known as supply curve with price represented on vertical axis quantity represented on horizontal axis supply curve is usually upward sloping reflecting the willingness of producer to sell more commodity that is produced in a market with high prices any changes in non price factor would cause a shift in supply curve where changes in the price of commodity can trace along a fixed supply curve market equilibrium or balance between supply and demand supply and demand are equated in free market through price mechanism if buyer wishes to purchase more of good than available at a pre- prevailing price then they will tend to bid for price up if they wish to purchase less than available in prevailing price supplier bid price down the price mechanism that what quantities of good are to be produced the price mechanism also de- determine which good are to be produced how the good are to be produced the who will get goods how the good will be distributed goods are produced and distributed maybe consumer items services or labor others sellable commodities in each case an increase in demand will lead to price drag will being bind with up which will induce producer to supply more or decrease in demand which led to increase being bid down <coughs> which will induce producer to supply less the price system that provide a simple scale by which competing competing demand may be weighed every consumer produces the tendency of move forward equilibrium price is known as market mechanism and resulting balance between the supply and demand is called market equilibrium okay at this price of good rice is the quantity of our use is usually increase the willingness of consumer to buy the goods normally decline but these changes are not necessarily proportional the measures of a ripple responsiveness of supply and demand to change in a price called elasticity of the supply and demand calculated as the ratio of the percentage change in quantity supplied or demanded to percentage change in price thus if percent price of commodity decrease by 10% or sales in a commodity could consequently increase by 10% then the price elasticity of demand for that commodity is said to be 2 in algebraic form elasticity is defined as an elastic which represent 2x to e is greater than 1 in elastic which represent 2x is of if e is less than 1 unit elasticity with respect to x 
is e is equal to one several other type of elastic are frequently used to describe well known as economic value this include but are not limited to the income elasticity of the one the cross plus price elasticity the last is of a of good with respect to price of another good elasticity of substitution between different factor of production for example between capital and labor the elasticity of inter temporal substitution and then several other type of elasticity that are frequently to describe well known as economic value that have been acquired on a special name over time this include but they no limited to the income elasticity or demand the cross price elasticity the price of a, of a price of a good that respect to price of another good the elasticity of substitution between different factor of production for example between capital labor and the elasticity of inter temporal substitution for example as to your consumption and future related to consume the price a demand for food product that have really available substitutes like elastic which means that it will more responsive to change this cost consumer can re- easily replace the good with another if it price the demand for product may be in the last if there is no close substitute or expenditure of the product on a small frame faced relative in elastic demand for their product may increase total revenue by raising price those facing elastic demand cannot supply and demand analysis may be applied to market in final goods and services the market to our labor capital other product can apply to labor level of the fame or industry or aggregate level of entire economy market equilibrium is if at a market price of a quantity demand it is equal to the quantity supply the price at which quantity demand is equal to the quantity supply is called equilibrium price or market clearing price corresponding quantities is called equilibrium quantity in fact seller who offer a good or service interact with buyers who do not possess the good to want to acquire it at each price the seller decide how many units they want to offer or supply at this price or the buyer decide how many units they want to buy or demand the quantity supply will be higher a higher the market price of the good where the good quantity demand will be lower the higher the market price of the good at the price at which these two quantities are identical at the price at which quantity money equal to quantity supply the market equilibrium in equilibrium there is no buyer they who would have like to buy the goods but cannot find a seller there are no seller who like to sell the goods but they are unable to find a buyer this means this is the equilibrium price the seller are able to sell exactly the quantity they want to sell at the price and the buyer are able to buy exactly the quantity they want to buy at the, this price if you know the demand and supply of in a particular market we can easily find the market equilibrium by looking at the price at quantity demand is equal to the equal to the quantity supply for example suppose in the market of a pencil market demand is given by linear demand and market supply is equal to the yeah in equilibrium the number of pencil that is seller want to sell has to equal to the lean number of pencil that buyer want to buy the quantity supply is equal you for example now we have to solve p to find the equilibrium price which is equal to for to find the corresponding quantity b plug the equilibrium price back to the supply or the one function in the in market for pencil the equilibrium price is equal to 4 and that this price of the quantity x is equal to 6 unit that's the result is also known in graph below the market equilibrium in a perfectly competitive market correspond to the point in of interaction supply curve and the demand curve on the x axis we have a quantity q for goods or services in our case pension and y axis price p for goods the green line represent the demand curve and so the quantity demanded at each price for the graph below the demand function is the same thing the blue line represents the supply curve i'll take taken the example of q as 2p minus 2 so the quantity supply at each price at the equilibrium price we into equal to for the demand is equal to the quantity supplied the market equilibrium is called the competitive equilibrium because it describe the location of goods and service in perfectly competitive market in a competitive market where buyer 
and say that our price take her the quick plural price the small general revenue will equal to the margin cost the institution behind the result is called perfectly competitive market without barriers to the entity firm will enter as long as they can positive profit as a number of firms increase the market price decreases because new firm introduce actions supply that cannot be sold to original market price then they must lower price to sell their stock that decrease profit until they reach zero the firm have no incentive to enter the market anymore wow excess demand and an excess supply if a market price is not equal to equilibrium price then the quantity demand is not equal to the quantity price if the market price is too high higher than the equilibrium price the many shareholder want to sell but only few buyers are interested in buying this means that the quantity supply exceeds the quantity demand as such as in call excess supply coming back to the example of p is equal to 6 per pencil the quantity that seller want to sell is equal to 2 into 6 minus 2 equal to 10 when the quantity demand is equal to 4 the, there is no excess supply of 10 so what will happen to in this market there are many seller who would like to sell at this market price of 6 but unable to find buyer some of them will start lowering their price in order to buy, able to sell because it is still better for them to sell pen sell at a price 5 euros for example then they are not saying thing dollar seller will continue lower their price until the market price reaches for equilibrium price at this point seller have no incentive to further reduce their price because at the price they can sell exactly in the number of units they want to sell at the price conversely if market price is too low many buyers very interested in acquiring the good but few seller will want to sell the good by pile this imply the quantity demand exceeds the quality quantity supply and we call situation excess demand we can illustrate the situation using our example demand and supply equation if the market supply price is equal to the 2 the quantity demand is equal to 8 but the quantity supply is so only 2 the price is so and that is not profitable for the seller and to sell more than 2 unit then it is implied the customer who want to buy the good cannot because there is no seller who want to sell to them in the market price consequently the seller knowing that there is enough interest in their pencil will increase their prices until the market price reaches equilibrium price in equilibrium when the quantity demand equal to the quantity supply there is no there is neither excess supply nor excess demand whenever the market is not equilibrium either because the market price is too high or too low the forces of supply and demand cause arise price to adjust and market price will move toward the equilibrium price yes it's true now lower now we want to write about the plastic price elasticity of demand and price elasticity of supply price elast- elasticity why does it work okay. plus elasticity is the responsiveness of quantity demand or supply of a good to changes the price it compound it is computed as a pra- percentage change in quantity to margin or supply divided by the percentage in the price elasticity can be described as a elastic or very responsive unit elastic or inelastic not very responsive elastic demand or supply can indicate that the quantity demand or is supplied responsive to price change in a greater than proportional manner in elastic demand or supply curve is one where the given percentage change in price will cause the smaller changes <laughs> supply unitary elastic means that the given percentage change in a price led to an equal percentage change in a quantity demand or supply what is price elasticity both demand and supply curve show the relationship between price and number of unit demand and supply price elasticity price elasticity is the ratio between the percentage change in a quantity demand or supply corresponding percentage in the price the price price <coughs> price elasticity of demand in a percentage in a quantity demand for good and service divided percentage in the price okay the price elasticity supplies the percentage change in a quantity supply divided by price at change the price okay 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 that's all formula word calculating elastic elasticity elasticity of supply that's all we given in this paragraph i think we have covered all the four already of 15 minutes
yes return all together we are moving to one day by day one day at a time that's what we can do by living in the present and improving daily and keep focusing on today that's it we'll meet you tomorrow